in the WWE battling for that crown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Face the facts, man. This guy may never, ever win another match. You know, guys, some people were just built to be WWE superstars. And if history's taught us anything, Kurt Hawkins was probably more likely built to be an electrician. You know, we talk a lot about Asuka's winning streak. Kurt Hawkins has one of the great all-time losing streaks. I don't think the guy's won a match in his career. Well, that just means he's got more motivation to capture that one elusive victory. Or change careers. Kurt Hawkins is over for the century. Who cares? Byron, why does Hawkins carry that stick? Ladies and gentlemen, your WWE Champion, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal! We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, oh, we'll man. be talking about this match for a long time. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. Wow. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Hooked up. And mention of Gooch Driver. Absolute. The shoulders are down. Mahal gets the shoulder up. I don't think his opponent was expecting that.
Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. He's flagrantly breaking the rules. This could cause irreparable damage. Come on, ref! I got right to the gut! Elbow drop! Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Oh, man! Face first! Here's his chance to win this! What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Taste of pain! But he's got a cap. There's a pin now. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that, or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Nobody controls the pace of a match oh. quite like this guy. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. The champ is just being outclassed right now. He may not even know where he's at at this point, which is not a good look when your championship is on the line. That's a message delivered. Wow, what a gritty performance. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Yeah, here's Kurt Hawkins. And that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And the hall just barely getting out of the way. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. Oh boy, he is rolling. Whoa, Kurt Hawkins dodged that one. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. Now that shoulder's on the mat. Two! A kick out, and he almost had him. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Am I watching the same match as everyone else? How did the official miss that one? This is unbelievable. Oh, I think this man means business. Whoa, Kurt Hawkins dodged that one. Jinder Mahal's in trouble. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Going for the cover. One, two, and how they... 
they survived that is anyone's guess. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh man, face first. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Oh man, Impaler DDT. But Adam, the cover. And he goes for the pin! One, two! Oh, how resilient was that? Wow, that's pure power, guys. Oh boy, he is rolling. so much of that. Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. Jinder Mahal might have just set the end of this match in motion. Too quick for him there. Schoolboy! And the champ kicks out. He needs to change something fast, guys. Yeah, here's Kurt Hawkins. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. Oh, yeah, here's Kurt Hawkins. Obviously, this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Oh boy, he is rolling. What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Oh man, face first. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Things just went from bad to worse for Jinder Mahal. He wants no part of the outside. Whoa, Kurt Hawkins dodged that one. Oh, he turns it around. This one's about heart and determination, the will to win, and leave here tonight as the Intercontinental Champion. Inside the ring now. He's going for the pin. Two! Kick out at two! Oh, that may have been a slow count. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. And the champ kicks out. Too soon. Whoa, Kurt Hawkins dodged that one. Oh, yeah, here. And a pin attempt. One, two. And he got a near fall out of it. How'd he do that? Oh, boy, he is rolling. So dangerous. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Oh man, face first. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Over and over and over. How many times are we gonna see it? What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Face 
just a pain. The title is... He can end it here. He's got him. Two. Three. This singles contest has the victor. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here's your winner, and the new Intercontinental Champion, Kurt Hawkins. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. That match certainly lived up to the expectations